Welcome to Dreamforce Chapters. How are you doing very well today? So we've gone back. Vip, stop that. It's not a toy. You could kill someone. Someone you don't want to kill. Send for a healer, you cretins! My legs are broken! What do we do with her? I haven't decided yet. We have enough on Sister Alessandra to hold a summary court martial and execute her. Or we send her to Sadia to stand trial. She'll face death. Or worse, a solitary life sentence in the black hole. To be honest, I think that decision should be yours. She must stand trial. But we don't know what's happening in Sadia. Someone may want to protect her. And we can't bring her with us to Mercuria. She's murdered thousands, and she believes she's righteous. Nothing will be gained from sparing her life. Our people must know the truth. Alessandra needs to stand trial for what she's done in Sadia. She must stand trial. But we don't know what's happening in Sadia. Someone may want to protect her, and we can't bring her with us to Mercuria. What if we leave her here? Leave her? Do you think that's a good idea, Kian? Her crimes are against magicals. Let them decide what to do with her. I can't imagine they'll show her any mercy. Oh, very well, Kian. We'll leave Sister Alessandra in the hands of her prisoners. May the goddess have mercy on her soul. Let me go, you fools. You're doing the shadows' work. Uh, uh, goddess, uh, help me. Oh, it hurts. What now, Kian? We go back, and we end this. Can I count on your help? You can. When I followed you here, I had no idea. I had my suspicions. I don't trust Vamon and Saya. They've been lying to us, and they're planning something. But I was blinded by faith and my trust in the Council. I followed you so that I could arrest you, kill you if necessary, to have my eyes open this way. A veil's been lifted, all thanks to you. And the Dolmari, of course. Your man, Liko. I failed you. I failed our nation. And I'm sorry for that, Kian. For distrusting you. I should have known better. I'm disappointed in him. He should know me better than to think I would knowingly betray my people. But I won't confront him about it until after the war is won. Our friendship may never be the same, but we need to put this behind us and move on. He should have known better than to brand me a traitor. But I understand why he made that mistake. I gave you reason to doubt me. I'm not so sure about that, Kian. I acted rashly and... General... Harmy. I forgive you. Huh. There's one thing I must know. Who told you that Liko and I had gone to Guillen? Mother Utana. Don't ask me how she knew. Well, she has her sources. She urged me to follow you. She wanted you to see this with your own eyes. Perhaps so, but how would she know what I'd find here? She trusted me. Yes, although, if she already knew the truth, why did she say nothing? It wouldn't have been better to keep me in Mercurio and arrest Vamon and Sion. I'm sure she had her reasons, Harmy. Is your cloud ship ready to bring us back? The fastest ship in the fleet. We'll be there in less than three days. Enough time to lay plans along the way. I need your most trusted men to fight alongside the rebels, against Vermont's troops. They will. There are fewer of us than there are of them, but we have the light on our side. We'll follow your command, Kian. To the first mountain, if it be so. What about the Dolmari? Liko? He's speaking to the prisoners. He'll accompany us. I'll send for him. Liko will expect his people to be brought back to Mercuria, or given free passage to wherever they want to go. I give you my word, as soon as the conflict has been resolved. We'll have to leave young Bip with his parents, or I'm sure he'll try to sneak on board our ship. Bip, time to go. I love how story-driven this game is. I might not talk as much because I don't want to interrupt the story that's going on. Everything's ready for the ceremony, Your Excellency. The engineers have informed me that the engine is ready. 
Whenever you wish to begin. My men have been posted around the city, ready to handle any unrest. Though I don't expect any. This being Reap Moon's Eve, most of the peasants will be too drunk to pay attention. Is there anything else you need, Prophet? You've done all I've asked. With the general away, there will be fewer distractions to worry about. The Office of Scientific Progress has proven itself a loyal servant to the Goddess. The support in Sadir has been unwavering. I am pleased with your work. Thank you, Prophet. We live to serve the Goddess. Where is the first? In her room, praying for the success of our mission. She did not want to overshadow this ceremony with her presence. Her humility makes her a worthy one of the six. You deserve all the glory tonight, sister. You, and the commander, of course. When I activate the engine, a new era will begin. We will shape this world according to the wishes of the goddess. Magic will finally be eradicated. The transition may cause fear and unrest for a time, but I trust you to handle this with authority and efficiency. Of course. I must prepare. When I am ready, I'll send word to you. You will have the privilege of telling the people of this city they're witnessing the birth of a new era. Hami has returned. With Kian. He's joined the Resistance. What? Who told you this? They've been trying to recruit my men. Some have turned, though most have not. Why didn't you inform the Prophet? and have him cast us from the top of the tower. We'll handle this. The Prophet will never know. Mother Utana and the First, they can't know either. They might interfere. You take care of them. I will take care of the Resistance and Harmy. Once and for all. Soon it won't even matter. Tonight, once the engine is active... We take control, yes, I know. I, I just... We didn't need this. Not when we're so close. After all that we Don't worry yourself, sire. Proceed as planned. Yes. Yes. Long ago, when I was a boy, exploring the mountains close to my village, I met an old Dormari man, herding his stone goats. Our two people were officially at war, but there were still Dormari tribes near our village and some trade between humans and magicals. The old man spoke with kindness, fed me dried fruits and goat's milk, and told me I had magic in me, just like his grandchildren. When I returned home and told my mother, she commanded me to never speak a word of this to my father. And then she leaned in and whispered, Something in my ear I'll always remember. Magic, she said, is a part of everything. Magic is in the wind and rain, the stones and the ocean. It's in me, my mother said. And it's in you. Your heart, your mind, your blood. We've been at war with magic for most of my life. But I've never forgot my mother's whispered words. And I've always felt it in me. Felt that magic's a part of me. For decades, I've fought it, denied it, rejected it. Tonight, that fight ends and another begins. This is no longer a war between humans and magicals. This is a battle for the very soul of our world. If you will have me, if you accept us, we stand with you all. We fight at your side. Tonight, we put aside our differences, our history, our grievances, and we stand united as one. Humans and Magicals, Azadi and Northlanders, we are all Arcadians. 
Our eyes have been opened to the truth of what's being done to magicals. The Prophet has deceived the Azadi people. The engine is a weapon aimed at us all. We don't yet know what this ceremony will bring. But if we don't act tonight, in the face of death, we shall live to regret it tomorrow. General Hami will lead sorties against Vamon's men, force their surrender, and push through to the commander and sister Sire. Those who refuse to lay down their arms, we fight. As hard as it will be to strike at your own brothers, there's no other choice. Your goal is to apprehend Sire and Vamon, alive if possible, dead if necessary. You'll take your commands from the general. Any misgivings you may have must be put to rest now. I trust Hami with my life. And tonight, so shall you. The engine must be destroyed. We don't know what it's truly for or how it works, but the Prophet means to reshape the world using its powers. This isn't magic. It's something darker than sorcery. Something older and infinitely more dangerous. Let's stop it. Let's stop them all from destroying our world, from destroying magic. Let's do this in the memory of our absent comrades. Shepard, Bob who can see, Enu, there's been enough death. Come back alive. You've received your assignments. Prepare to move out. And when this night is over, let's all return here to watch the sun rise on a new Mercuria. You know what to do, Kian? Ferdows will shut down the engine from the control room near the green. In order to do that, he needs me inside the tower. You'll go alone? I've been inside before. It will be easier on my own. Anna will escort Ferdows and keep him safe. I wish we could fight side by side tonight, but... Your task is more important, and more perilous. You'll have the resistance by your side. I couldn't ask for better company. My men won't flinch from their duty. When they learned what was being done to the non-humans, and what the camps were for. I wish there was time to spread the truth further. But instead, we're forced to fight our own. We can only hope that most choose to surrender, rather than remain loyal to Vamon. I'm sure they will, once they find themselves facing you. Civil war is a terrible thing, Hami. Most men shy from it. I don't envy you your task tonight. We do what we must. Goddess protect you, Kian. If all goes well, we'll talk again soon. We shall. Hey, I can move at last. This game has had so many twists, it's like making me reconsider a lot of the decisions I made earlier on. So a lot of the decisions we ma I made personally were due to what I thought was right at the time. That was a good speech. They will follow you to their deaths if necessary. I hope that won't be needed. It's enough to know that we stand united. It's what we've been fighting for. And I no longer have to feel torn between two worlds. Thank you for trusting me, Liko. For convincing me to bring you to Guyen. I... I consider you my brother, Liko. Stay safe tonight. All right. Everyone looks ready. Let's do this. For Shepard. For Enu. For Shepard. For Bob who can see. For all who were lost. For family. Family. Take care, brother. May your goddess smile upon you tonight. I stand with you, Kian. And I'm not the only one. Look around. These men and women would all lay down their lives for you. Hami's men stand with us. But too many are still loyal to Vamon. It'll be brother against brother tonight. I'll join Anik's team going into Coldstone. If we can free the imprisoned rebels, we'll improve our chances. And if Benry may is still alive, I want to bring her home. 
If we'd known what they were doing to the Magicals, we would have refused to take orders from Commander Varman. They've shamed the Empire, him and Sister Saya. Anna, Elena, we haven't... Yeah, it's fine. I'm not... ...talked, and sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. Uh, don't worry about it, Kian, really. I'm glad you're back and in one piece. We have a job to do. We can talk after. Good, yes, after. We really should. I'll escort Ferdell to the engine house in the green and watch over him while he does whatever it is that he needs to do. Kian, are you sure we can trust him? Do we have a choice? Yes, Anna, I believe we can. Okay. He'll be ready when you found your way into the tower. Something Hami said. Utana learned of my trip to Guillen from a trusted source. I wonder, did you tell Utana about Guillen? I... Uh, all right. Yes. Yes, I did. It was... I did it to help you. I trust the mother. I always have, ever since... Well, you know, you and her, you saved my life half a lifetime ago. I'm sorry for trying to help. If you hadn't told Utana, I'd be dead now. So, thank you. That's it. Thank you. We might never see each other again, and... I can't give her what she desires most. But I can still grant her a kiss. Words can never bridge the gap between us. I can't give her everything she's hoping for. But I can at least say something to make her feel better. I... Hey, whoa, what? I'm just trying to... No, just... No, that's not... Sorry. Don't do that. I am sorry for... All right. Uh... Are we leaving soon? Because if we wait much longer, I'm afraid I'll just curl up into a ball and be of no use to anyone. The streets are crowded with revelers, and the Azadi are staying out of their way. There's no better time. This whole reaping thing is giving them the willies. It's way too pagan for our pious occupiers. I'll find a way into the heart of the tower. And we'll stand by and wait for you to contact us. You still believe you can shut the engine down remotely, for Daz? With your help? Unless they've disconnected the pipes. Yes, I believe so. I know they're still waiting on the final calculations to be sent to the tower, so if we hurry... Then let's not waste any more time. Just get inside the tower and find the engine and contact us via the speaking tube. I'll walk you through the steps needed for me to take control, and then I'll force the engine to crash. Crash? crash. If we feed it the wrong instructions, the engine will stop working. Like a, a, a cloud ship that, um, crashes into a mountainside. It's complicated, but really quite easy. We'll have to take your word for it. I've worked on the engine for years. I know how it operates. Let's go. Be safe, Kion. If you die, I'll be very cross with you. <laughs> <laughs>